Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Baboon to the Moon Go Bag Mini in the color green. This is the package right here. I just want to start off by saying I thought it was going to come in a box and I'm slightly disappointed that it came in a bag. I saw another unboxing video and hers came in a box. So, I guess I'm going to cut her open. Okay. <laughs> I've been eyeing this bag for a minute now. I don't know if I said that already. So this is the bag right here. First impression, it's looking good. It's looking good. I really like it. So a little bit about me in terms of traveling and how I like to pack. I love weekender bags and duffel bags. Um, I currently have a Vera Bradley bag that I bought at Marshalls. I think it was like 50 bucks or 60 bucks. And I like it because it fits the dimensions of a Spirit Airlines personal item. And if you guys know Spirit, you guys know that they'll let you fly free with a personal item, but it needs to be under their certain dimensions, which are 18 by 14 by eight. So 18 by 14 by eight. And I've actually liked this bag. I've traveled with it a few times for a weekend type trip. It's, it's cool because you don't really fit much, but the downside of having a bag like this, well, this one specifically, I can't speak for other weekender bags, but this one specifically, what I don't like is I need to reach in to grab stuff and like things are just kind of like piled up. And this one, the feature that caught my eye on this bag is that the top opens up like a suitcase. So that really caught my eye. So let's go ahead and open her up. And just so you guys know, this thing is like super durable. I don't know if you guys can tell through the camera, but the material does not feel flimsy at all which is why I think they offer their lifetime warranty. I think this would last, maybe not a lifetime, but a long time. So this is a feature that I was very intrigued by. Check out the bag. Also, you can't go wrong with the waterproof cleanable shell. You take it places, it gets dirty. All you need to do is grab a Clorox Lysol wipe, some wet ones, wipe her down and she's good to go. So I really, I really liked it. Another good feature that caught my eye is that you can carry it three ways. You can wear it as a backpack with the zipper against your back. So that's kind of cool because it's not exposed to the people. Like a backpack, well, I guess a backpack, the zipper is close to you, but when you wear this as a backpack, you're covering the main compartment. You can also carry it like, like if it's not that heavy, I guess, like a, like a briefcase hold, you can carry it here. You can carry it here on the top, you can carry it on the other side. So it has three, actually four. You can carry it from any angle. It has one on each side. And you can also do like a crossbody with these straps. So I don't know if you can tell, like you could see that they are backpack straps, but at the same time, they double as crossbody straps. Also, if you don't even want the straps to be on there at all, you can remove them. Each of them have this little metal clasp here that you just undo to take them all off. And that's how you can carry it. So I thought that was pretty cool. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys the inside of the bag in a little bit more detail. So on the top bag, we have the, kind of like your basic like luggage bag. You know those luggages that open like this? They always kind of have a zipper here on the top. So I thought that was really neat. You can put like some flat items in here, nothing too bulky as you are going to be closing it down. Inside here on both sides, we have two pockets. This pocket here is mesh and it has an elastic top. So maybe you can put like your socks, underwear, bras, a perfume, things that you don't want floating around with your clothes. And then on the other side, there is another pocket with a zipper. So same thing, kind of small items that you don't want floating around, but a little bit more security since it has a zipper. And then we have the lining inside, which if you look real close, it has like, they're like little rockets with the letter B for baboon to the moon. I think that's a really nice detail. I like when there's detail within the bag. You know what I mean? So this one has an outside pocket, which I think is cool. Cause right here I would definitely put like my phone. Let me show you guys. 
my phone in here. I put my wallet, my keys, my chapstick, my passport. Basically everything you need like quickly so that you don't need to open this whole compartment just to get, you know, like your important stuff. It's not that deep, but it's, it's deep enough to put in like most of your essentials that you're gonna need while you're traveling. So in total, three bags on the inside, I mean three zippers on the inside, three small compartments on the inside, and one on the outside. Also, another feature that I noticed is that you can actually lock these zippers together. And the logo is also here on this strap, as well as in the front of the bag. I know the bag looks a little crazy right now because I don't have anything in it, but in about a week and a half, I'm going to Joshua Tree. So I'm gonna pack this bag and I'll do another video to show you guys how I pack and what I usually like to include when I pack because lately I've been doing some light traveling <laughs> and I think it's cool. I love watching packing videos like, show me what you're taking on the trip, where you keep your toothbrush, where you keep your makeup. I wanna see everything. So I'll be, I'll be recording a video for you guys. So the dimensions of this bag are nine and a half inches by 18 and a half inches by 12. So I'm going to assume 19 and a half, sorry, 18 and a half, 12, and nine and a half in thickness. So this is one and a half inch larger than Spirit's re requirements. But honestly, I don't think it'll be much of a problem. I think it'll fit into their little airport thing. Baboon to the Moon has three sizes in their go bag. This is the mini, which fits 32 liters. I don't know why they would measure it like that like liters am i the only dumb one that didn't really understand that anyways 32 liters which is marked as a personal item that can fit one to three days of packing they have a small which is 40 liters that one is the carry-on one that fits three to five days of packing and then the largest one is the go bag the big size which fits 60 liters and fits five plus days of packing that one is marked as like the checked item. That one is the biggest one. This mini bag cost me $139. Let me tell you guys how much it was with taxes and shipping. It was a total of $156.20. So just know that the larger the bag, the more you're going to pay. Um, but since they do have lifetime warranty, like I do think this is worth it to make the investment. Obviously, if you're not looking for a bag that you're gonna keep forever and you just wanna buy something quick, on Amazon, there's some pretty good options for personal items. They're like 10, 11 bucks, and it's like a flimsy little, well, <laughs> it's like a little double bag that is the size requirements that you need for a personal item, and I'm sure you can fit a lot of stuff in there. This is definitely an investment. If you're an avid traveler, wanna get into traveling, love weekender bags like me, are obsessed with green, <laughs> then I would definitely get, um, one of these go bags. I think the carry-on size would also be like really good. Maybe in the future I'll get a carry-on in a different color, but I, so far, I really do like it. I do want to mention the colors that they have because they have a ton. They have seven limited edition run prints, which are in various colors like yellow, pink, like a turquoise blue, red, like a baby blue, and it looks like a black, maybe? But they're classic colors, they have the red, orange, yellow, blue, green, which is this one, purple, navy blue, gray, and black. So yeah, I'm kind of obsessed. I don't know about you guys, but this green color is, it's perfect. It's like the perfect green that I like. So I am obsessed with this bag. This is not sponsored. I spent my own money on this, and I have been seeing on TikTok all these sponsored posts, and I wanted to know, is it really worth it? And I wanted to let y'all know, because I'm wondering, maybe you guys are getting all the sponsored posts on TikTok as well. So I bought the bag to let you guys know that yes, buy the bag, it's worth it. That's my unsolicited review on the Baboon to the Moon Go Bag in Mini in the color green. If you guys like this video, if you guys like lifestyle videos, vlogs, travel videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, I thought my coach told you, girl. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am not here. Okay. <laughs> That's it? That's it.